Actually, I was wrong again. But this time. It's glass beads. Oh, well, just to make sure I'll check this side. Anyways. Uh, you will want to go back on top of it later as well. On top of the uh, boat as well, there is. Yeah, we can't get on top of the uh, second ship. Oh shit! Yeah, if you take too long, you basically. You basically miss out and have to do the whole sequence again. But since we're on the ship, we'll get whatever we need. Yeah. Like this stray bead. This a golden peach. Yeah, anyways. Now that we did this, we'll have to go all the way back. Because we're idiots. Probably gonna be cutting a lot of this out. Or maybe I'll keep. You never know. It all depends on what I say. Ugh. I wish there was somewhere I could, like, go faster on top of water. Faster with water and such. God, swimming is such. It takes so much time. Seriously. It takes so much time to just run on the water. Anyways, now that we're back here. Make a crescent moon in the sky. the scene happens again and we cannot skip it which is a pain in the ass yeah we know we know This time we're not going to take forever to get to it. We'll just go right into it. And I kind of fucked up. But we're in the second sunken ship. And there's a barrier there. That door looks cursed! They probably sealed it up like that to keep looters out. And I've never seen such a sinister looking curse before. I sure hope this whole ship isn't one big curse. At any rate, this puppy ain't gonna be easy to spell. 
And Rao is here as well. <laughs> but busty babe! I kind of find it funny they animated her breasts so well. Well, it's not really that well animated, but it's... Just the fact that it's animated, it's funny. This is a treasure ship you were talking about, babe. <laughs> That's all fun and dandy, babe. And Amaterasu is just staring at her breasts. But what about this cursed door here? Was it sealed up like that to keep our looters out? Or maybe it's the curse of those who died when the, the water dragon sunk their ship. That thing's just sitting with intensely evil power. <laughs> You got that right. We better find another way in. And she's gonna write us. <sighs> yeah, basically, you wanna touch the prayer slips with your brush and touch the door. And there's a uh, safe point if you want. <laughs> She's leaning forward. Awesome. And yeah. You gotta be careful because there are ghosts that will attack us. And we're in a room here. With three treasure chests at the bottom. Whoa, just look at those treasure chests! <laughs> we're gonna be millionaires! Even before we find those fox rods! And isn't those little hearts? <laughs> Anyways, our objective will be to go to, to that gate over there, but we can't do this yet. So anyways, meanwhile we'll just take the treasures. A celestial envoy, huh. Let's go take a look at this. Pause if you want to read. Basically what it says is that the gods choose someone to, uh, to tell people what's going on. And those are Kokeshi, uh, Kokeshi dolls. Yeah, I can't do much with them. Oh shit, that was, that's like a mimic or something. Boom. 
way we can kill them easily. I if we can do something like this. Okay, she does. Yeah. Nothing. And we get a Holy Bone M in this one. Let's uh, break the pots. Yes, if you really don't want to get hit by a uh, monster, you can always power slash. 